This is that you accepted without seeing the sun. Now if you go to the living room and see the sun is dumb, blind, or black, then what will you do? David just sighed in response to his girlfriend's question. Even Kasmin Kale had no interest in this marriage. What does it matter to the boy anyway? She would never accept that boy as her husband anyway. Seeing David's silence, his girlfriend asked again. Kyer, are you afraid? Hey, don't be so afraid. We saw the brother. You will fall in love once you see it. David then puffed up his nose and said angrily, Do I feel like a savage like you, falling in love with anyone I see? Oh fool, he is your husband. If you don't fall in love with him, who will you fall in love with? David gritted his teeth and said, Not in love with anyone. I didn't marry to fall in love. I got married just to heal my sick father. His girlfriend laughed and said, No matter what you do, you will definitely fall in love with your brother. David's mood is not right. These words on him are playing twelve more of his mood. He frowned at his girlfriend and said, Get up from here. Go inside and see what everyone is doing. And tell mom, I can't sit here much longer. Take me in. David's girlfriend goes inside as he said. David sits alone. The impression of annoyance is evident in his eyes. She seems to be falling under the pressure. Even so much illumination around does not give him peace. Why so organized? Why organize so much where the bride has no interest in her own wedding? David's anger makes me want to cry. She undid the depata from her head. Just then his mother came into his room, accompanied by another lady. Mary, David's mother, forced a smile and sat near David. Said, feels very hot, mother? Wait a little longer, then you can be fresh. David rolled his eyes in anger and said, Mom, I feel unbearable. Mary told him to be quiet with a wink. Then the gentle lady who came with him said, We will leave after a while. Then leave these things and get fresh. It is really too much to stay after these an act of annoyance. David smiled and said, It's nice to hear that you at least understand my pain. David's mother got angry. He looked at her hotly and said, She is your mother-in-law. David smiled and said, Yes, mother, I know. My only mother-in-law. The gentle lady also smiled and put her hand on David's head and said, Hey, hey, you are also my only son's wife. David didn't say anything in response. He sat with a black face as before. They both went out. Why is David so angry? Getting angry at everyone. And most of all, anger towards the man she married. But who has not seen even once? Either way, he didn't want to meet on his own. Surprise mother arranged the marriage and he also got married by dancing. There will definitely be a cabal. However, it doesn't matter to David. Rather, it is better if he is a cabalcan, he will be able to convince the boss. All the in-laws left. As David's cabin is done, everyone leaves leaving her and her husband behind. David is in his parents' room. Her room is being decorated since that evening. And the gentleman to whom David is married, David heard that he is still in their drawing room. Even though the marriage is over, the man still does not want to see his wife for once. David suddenly thought the man was not like him in marriage or not. Maybe that's why he didn't come in front of David even after getting married. If that happens, it will be good for him. But he will be released even if he gets married. He no longer has to walk within any restrictive rules. That man will follow that man's mind and he will follow his mind. David was very happy thinking the words in his heart. He also gets a lot of relief. His life will not stop because of the trouble called marriage. After a while, Mary David's mother came into the room with a plate of food to feed him. Seeing his mother, David frowned. He won't eat. Mary held the food in front of her mouth and said, eat it without making a fuss. David frowned said, am I being naughty, mum? Ha, huh, you do. Why can't you accept the normal thing? When you have done the marriage, then accept the marriage. Don't make unnecessary trouble. David's eyes sparkled. His warmth rolled down his cheeks. He snorts and says, what trouble have I done, mother? If I wanted to, I could not treat the woman badly. I could not tell her everything. I could, but why didn't you know? Thinking of you and your father. Thinking of you and father, I accepted everything with my mouth. I married the one you mentioned. 
Even now you say, I should not make any trouble? Where did I make the trouble? I didn't do it. And don't do anything in the future. Your father will suffer. David smiles sheepishly. Says with a dry mouth, you know when a child suffers the most? When his parents impose something on him for the sake of their suffering. Mom, you know how much I love music? But before the marriage, the house made a condition that I have to stop singing. If you also agree on one thing, don't even think about me for once. I don't think how much I suffered. The lady said she will make me study, but there is no need to work. I will not be able to sit down and finish his son's money. And you agree to that too. My desire does not pay any price for reluctance. And I also gave up everything to keep my sick father smile on my mother's face. And after all this you say I should not cause unnecessary trouble? No mom, don't worry. I won't make any more trouble. Now if they say I don't need to study anymore then I will agree to that too. Whatever they say I will accept everything literally but I will not let you bow down. Rest assured mother. The mother can understand exactly how much pain is coming out in the daughter's words. But he must be strict in front of the girl. Once he softens, the girl will get him too. Then he will not accept this marriage in any way. So he has to be tough as much as possible. Mary put food in her mouth and said, If you look at life with simple eyes, life is simple. Everything depends on your perspective. Nolan is a good boy, he will take good care of you. And if you can develop a good relationship with your husband, your husband will fulfill all your wishes. No need. I will fulfill my wish alone. I don't need anyone. David is left in his room by his girlfriends. He does not recognize his room. The fragrance of flowers is wafting around. But even so beautiful is not able to attract his mind. He sat down on his bed, annoyed. After a while there was a knock on the door of his room. He realizes that the man has come. He relaxes and sits on the bed. The man locked the door and turned to look at David. The man was a little surprised to see no Heldel among David. According to him, at this moment, according to the rules, the new wife comes and greets her husband. However, he is worried that his wife does not see any such thing. So he moves slowly. Standing in front of David, he said in a gentle voice, hearing the salutation on the man's face, David replied in an embarrassed voice, the man then sat down some distance away from him. David is still sitting with his head down. He doesn't want to look at the person in front of him. The man said quietly for a while, I know that it was not like you in this marriage. David is shocked. He looks at the man's face with surprise. He frowned after looking for a while. Saying you, recognize? David folded his forehead and said, you are Nolan? Gee, David's forehead crease deepened. He looked at the man in surprise for a while. Then he lowered his eyes and said, did you know that I did not like this marriage? Nolan said in a smiling tone, gee. David then said in an angry voice, then why did you get married? Nolan looked at David and asked, why did you get married? You didn't like this marriage, so why did you marry? I was forced. I thought about my sick father. If such a situation had not arisen today, I would never have married you. But you knew I didn't like it, so why did you agree to this marriage? There can be not like you. But I was like that. So this marriage took place. This marriage wouldn't have happened if I didn't like it. David got angry after hearing this. He said in an angry tone, why did you agree? You knowingly ruined my life. I will never accept you, never. Nolan stood up from her side. Then he stood in front of the dressing table and took off the watch from his hand and went directly to the washroom. David is surprised to see the behavior of the man. So calm? As if he doesn't care about these things. He is carrying on with such a responsible attitude as if nothing happened. David is sitting and blowing. He didn't like the man's cold temper at all. He wants the man to be angry with him. Show more anger. Then let the two quarrel a lot and let the two separate. But if the person is in such a calm mood then none of this will happen. David gets very worried. Don't know what to do. Meanwhile Nolan comes out of the washroom. He comes and says to David, go wash up. You have to pray. David got a chance. He said sternly, no, I will not pray. Bryson frowned. 
asking, why don't you pray? Read. But I will not read with you at this moment. Nolan looked at her face for a while. Then, without saying anything else, he spread a prayer mat and stood to pray alone. David is happy. This is how the man should be pissed off. How long will it last? On top of that, he is a big leader in this area. Anger runs through the veins of leaders. He must have two. Now maybe it has been suppressed. David fell asleep after seeing Nolan after finishing the prayer. He prayed and sat next to David. David is huddled and sleeping. All his front hair falls over his face. Bryson removes the hair very carefully. He smiles at David's sleeping face. He says in his heart, you have come to terms with Nolan's existence, now you can't escape so easily, David. Now you have to live with the existence of this Nolan till the last breath of your life. Blinking eyes, a huge man appeared in front of his eyes. David narrowed his eyes and looked carefully. He does not recognize the man from behind. He quickly sat up. On closer inspection, this gentleman is Nolan, her disliked husband. He then looks at the clock. At seven o'clock, the man took a shower so early? David stood up. Nolan then stands in front of the mirror and wipes his wet hair. Seeing Nolan's reflection in the mirror, David swallowed hard. What a huge man. David is just a little girl in front of this man. David went to the washroom without standing for long. She comes fresh and sees that Bryson is not in the room. On that occasion, she locked the door of the room and took off her sari and put on a long t-shirt. Then he opened the door and went to the dining room and saw Nolan sitting in the dining room having breakfast. So much breakfast in the morning. David vomits after taking something in his mouth so early in the morning. He doesn't go in. Standing in front of the door to see what is happening in. Inside. He sees that his mother is taking good care of the gentle man and growing all the food. How many breakfast items have you made? David is very jealous after seeing so much love from his son-in-law. So he came to the room without standing and fell asleep again in anger. He woke up at 12 in the afternoon. That too at his mother screams. He woke up and went outside to see his mother very angry. David asked with a furrowed brow, What happened? Mary looked back at her and said angrily, Queen's sleep is broken. How did the Queen get up so quickly? He used to sleep a little more, he used to get up at noon and eat. Mom, you know, this is the time I get up if there's no class. Mary got very angry and said, drop what you said before now. Now you are married. After two days, the father-in-law will go home. If you go there and do these things, your mother-in-law will not stay even for two days. Come home and throw it away. So practice from now. In the morning, the son-in-law went out to have breakfast alone. Are you up didn't get up what would the boy think? John is a good boy, so don't expect too much. Otherwise, you would have had sadness on your forehead. David said in a tone of annoyance. Yes, mother, that boy is an angel. As bad as I am. Do one thing, keep it with you for the rest of your life. And send me to that house. Only then will you find peace. Saying this, David left the dining room and went to the sitting room. They went there and saw that they were little cousins and sisters fighting fiercely over watching TV. David went and took the TV remote and said, None of you have to watch, I will. One of his sisters said, No ma'am, I'll watch Nickelodeon. Another then said, No. Ah, I'll be watching. Please give away. A huge fight ensued over this TV viewing. David can't stop anyone. Finally, he got bored and turned off the TV. The kids then get angrier at him. David took them to one place and said, Listen, look at the clock now, it's 12.20. The one who can be completely silent till 12.40 will get the TV remote. And then he can watch as many channels as he wants. But if someone speaks before then he is out of this game. He will no longer be given the remote. Do you understand? The children nodded. Well, okay, then your time starts now. Mary entered with food. Handing the plate of food to David, he said, From now on, learn to do a little work on your own. If you go to your in-law's home, no one else will do this. Hearing his mother's words, David said with a shy smile, Girls become late after marriage, don't they, mother? 
Mary said in a loud voice when talking about the good of a girl, if she gets it wrong, she becomes a girl later. Mary left. David is sitting silently eating the food. His aunt then came and sat beside him. David always likes this aunt very much. Very simple people. Don't remember anything. He said what needed to be said. He came and smiled. What a beauty, why are you keeping your face like that? Don't like the son-in-law? Or is the son-in-law less loving? David didn't get angry after hearing Ant's words. Instead he smiled and said, You do not, Ant. Leave it out. Tell me when uncle will come. Your uncle? Since then he has been saying, I will come. Still no news. God knows when he will come. Auntie will come, she will come soon. You don't worry. Hey. Hey David, you know your son-in-law is a great leader.